Mum has just got back from her treatment. She's had nine implants. Hey everyone, welcome to our channel and my mum's turkey vlog. Over a period of 11 months and three visits to Medaway Turkey, treatments consisted of bone grafts, sinus lift, extractions, nine dental implants and 24 zirconium crowns fitted. Warning, some scenes show post procedures. Some viewers may be uncomfortable with. We all hope you enjoy. <laughs> First visit, July 2022. Hello guys, <laughs> I'm Danny, Michael's mum and Craig's mother-in-law. Um, today's my last day at work before traveling to Turkey to get new teeth. I'm so excited, I can't wait. Craig's coming with me, um, not just for support, but he's having this done as well. So yeah, we're both in for it. Um, this is just a short video to let you know that I'm almost there of getting ready to go. Just a couple more hours at work. Um, <clears throat> and then we'll be traveling to Gatwick tonight, stay in a hotel and then catch a plane tomorrow. So I'll, um, do some more updates if and when they occur. Morning guys. Morning. So spent the night in the hotel just outside Gatwick. Almost ready to go. Um, yeah, I didn't sleep much last night because I'm so excited. Hi guys. Dookie, we're on our way. Sitting in my nice transport, finally got to Istanbul. Now on the way to the hotel, <laughs> a bumpy ride, um, but nice roomy kind of. Oh, hello, who's that? Hi, <laughs> Frankie. <laughs> I woke up this morning after the first night in Gorian Hotel. Um, today is D Day. So I'm going for three day x-rays and a consultation and see what happens after that. Um, the weather is beautiful, 25 degrees, uh, and I'll let you more than later. Bye, wish me luck, bye. Breakfast at the Gregorian, at uh, Gregorian, Gregorian even. Nice spread this morning. Not that I'm going to eat anything because I'm too nervous. I'm just going to have a nice big fat coffee. Beautiful. I'm sat in my transport waiting to get taken to the dentist. So, oh God, I'm so nervous. I'm just waiting for the driver to come back. Saturday, the 16th of July. Um, today is D-Day. This is when I have the big job done today. 13 extractions, nine implants, a bit of bone grafting, etc. etc. Um so it's now time to clean my teeth, my own. My breakfast this morning before the big extractions, some stuff in my face. As you can see I've already had a load. And this is load two. Oh yeah, I'm going to enjoy it while I still can. Hi, so I've just had a massive big breakfast. I'm stuffed now, um, which is going to be my last one for I don't know how long. Um, so we're just sitting outside now having a nice coffee, chill a bit because my appointment's not actually until half past three this afternoon. Hours and hours to wait, but hey, how it is what it is. So yeah, we'll see how it goes sat outside in the shade because it's so hot and waiting for my appointment to take uh take off it's been postponed till five o'clock now instead of half past three 
so I've got ages to wait so we're just going to sit out here and have a drink of water while we're waiting for the time to go. Hello everyone, um, so I've had my first procedure done yesterday, I had eight extractions, two sinus lifts, three bone grafts, nine stitches on the right, five stitches on the left altogether, got medicines, um, no temporaries yet because my treatment's not over yet by far, I have to go back Monday to have some more extractions and Tuesday I should probably get my temp teeth um, for the time being. When it comes to the pain side of it, um, I was a bit achy and swollen last night so I got some compresses to stick on my face and some medicine like I said um, and today I actually feel 100% no pain whatsoever and just a little bit of a dull ache where the bruising is taking place on my bones but apart from that I really cannot com complain at all. So today was the day off, no treatments today whatsoever, so I decided to get the tattoo that I've been wanting for a good few years with Craigie, <laughs> which is this one. And now I'm eating room service with my tiramisu look, mm -hmm. and it's gorgeous really is. Loving it. So today is day two of my treatment. So I'm having root canal done today. And uh, I don't know what else I'm going to do. I'll let them surprise me. But as you can see, I'm toothless. So I'm sh showing you now because the end result is going to be amazing, I hope. It better be anyway. Uh, so me and Craig are going to go down for breakfast now and have some food while well, I still can. So Craig noticed bruising around my mouth this morning that I didn't even see um, when I was getting ready. So I he got took a picture of my face and I realised that yeah it's all across my top. Don't know if you can see it on camera, but there is definitely a bright one on my cheek. It's probably where they pulled my mouth apart with their clamp. Um, so yeah, and going in for another treatment later, root canal, so I mm, wonder what else is going to do to me today. Might as well just rip my face off and put another one on, It'd be lovely. <laughs> I've got really bru bruised cheeks. I've just come back from the dentist and the bottom of my face is completely numbed up. I can barely speak. I had root canal done. Um, I'm keeping my bottom teeth for the time being and then tomorrow I'm having my temporaries fitted. Currently I'm in the bar having a glass of wine <laughs> with a straw and uh, gonna have some dinner and then yeah that'll be it for today.
Morning guys. Um, just a quick video to say this. I've come to the end of my first trip in Istanbul, Turkey. Just had breakfast, which got a photo of, so my girl will probably put that up next to it. Um, I'm disappointed because I didn't get what I wanted. I got a couple of teeth on the plate and I can't wear the plate because it makes me gag. I'm not allowed to eat with it anyway, so I can't see the point of wearing it at all. So it's just been shoved in a box in my suitcase and it'll probably never see the light of day again until I come back in five months time. So it's a long haul. Um, so yeah, I will be walking around with loose uh, lost teeth and be wearing my mask a lot especially at work so no one can see it um yeah so be flying off at two o'clock today so just getting rid of the morning sitting here drinking coffee me and craig his teeth look amazing actually i mean oh my god he's absolutely incredible and that's what i wanted but i have to wait longer for mine my bones need to regrow in my mouth but hey how it is what it is so um i'll probably speak to you next time i'm taking my second trip but it'll all be going together up as one from start to finish hopefully so here we are outside waiting for our transport to go to the airport um no wrong way around there's Craigie behind me. There's Craigie all ready to go home as well with his brand new teeth and his amazing look. Yeah, and this is it. This was our hotel. Got a few minutes before taxi gets here and then we're all and I'll get some more filming at the airport hopefully if I don't forget. So we're coming to the airport. Our return flight to the UK. There we go, nearly there. We're going to check in H now. Just come through security all went smooth um so yeah heavy baggage with us brakes at the front running off as per usual but um i'll end up catching up anyway so it doesn't really matter but yeah this is istanbul airport ready to rock thank you massive again Take us 45 minutes to get through, no doubt. Second visit, February 2023. Hey, we're at the airport, we're at the airport, ready to go to Turkey, Turkey. And Michael's with me. Where's Michael? <laughs> and our flight's up there somewhere. We're not going through departure yet, we're having a coffee trip. Hi, so I've just come back from my 3D x-ray um, and we're going back to the dentist in about an hour's time to see what's happening next. Oh my god, I'm nervous. But yeah, um, so I'll keep you updated. I've just come back from the dentist for the second time today. I uh, had my consultation and I'm going back in tonight at half past five to have all my front teeth removed and six implants put in at the top and three at the bo bottom 
so I'm going to be sore. My face is going to be swollen again tomorrow, the day after. Um, and then I'll just have to wait to see uh, what the next few days hold, basically, and how it progresses taking in my mouth. So you'll see me tonight when I come back <laughs> with ice packs on my face again. Michael, no doubt, will do a video on that bit. Mum's just got back from her treatment. She's had nine implants and she's looking like she's feeling sorry for herself a little bit. But she said she's not too bad at the minute. But you look exhausted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm quite okay. Yeah, she's tired, mm. but she's all right. Anyway, I'll leave her to rest and we'll see how she gets on in the next few days. Oh. I'll try and make it short-ish, but you don't know how long this is going to take at the end of the day. Hey, Michael! <laughs> um, so I went for my implants last night and, oh my God, I was in pain severe pain i even at one stage there was one implant that got pushed quite far back and it made me slide down the chair and go screaming almost crying however it didn't last long that pain and it was the only pain that i basically really had um out of the nine implants that i had fitted so i had six at the top and three at the bottom all my teeth the rest of my top teeth removed um, so I've got no teeth at the, min at the minute um, and I'm here to show you <laughs> what my mouth looks like now. This is day after the implant so be aware this is not a good sight but I'm sure people will be wanting to see it to be interested to see how their journey may end or happen. It gives them some idea then. Before I reveal though, I just want to add that I was given a painkiller injection last night after the procedure and tablets for pain and antibi antibiotics so that I don't have any infections coming in. So it's like a prevention really. Um, so I was in, in quite a lot of pain last night when I got back. I had ice pack on my face. Um, I had to bite on these uh, gauze for about an hour before I could take them out. Anyway, um, I managed to get to sleep eventually and I woke up this morning. I've never felt this positive before. I was in a good mood. I had no pain whatsoever. I mean, there is slight bruising as in inside where they obviously screw it in tight. But that is all. I can speak normal. Um, yeah, it's just amazing, absolutely amazing. So here we go, beware, this is what I look like. At the moment, I still got bottom teeth, but that is all. Um, so now I'm getting some permanence fitted tomorrow. I've just been to the dentist again to have an impression done. And yeah, uh, tomorrow he's gonna fit them. Uh, they are put in take out, sort of like your dentures. I don't even like the word of it, to be honest, but hey, it is what it is until I get my permanence and then they won't be able to be removed, <laughs> which is the best bit. So all good things come to those who wait and I am waiting. Anyway, um, yeah, so I have to go back tomorrow to get them and I'll let you see what they look like once they're in my face. <laughs> Um, until then, I hope you didn't get too ooh, gory with it, but I want to bring this across to anyone that may be interested in going to Turkey to have their teeth done. I highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. And those who don't or have perfect teeth, please look after them. They are something you need to keep for the rest of your life because you wouldn't want to pay something like this where you pay thousands of pounds in order to look good. I, unfortunately, was brought up with 
not so good teeth and I've never had any fluoride in my mouth or anything like that. That helps the bone structure, <coughs> excuse me, and the development of good teeth. Um, my children have beautiful teeth, so I, I learned from mistakes basically. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. So yeah, this is my journey and at the end of the day, we'll all be good. It's just hard, hard to do it. Um, so anyway, I've gabbed on too long now. I'm going to let you go and I'll see you tomorrow. Um, so I went to the dentist today and was expecting my temporaries, not permanents because that ain't happening for another three months yet, temporaries. But um, he actually did uh, a top impression the other day and saying that I will get my temps within the next couple of days. And then when I went in today, called in today, I had um, the bottom impression done and he used something like a pink pliable rubber kind of stuff to put over my gums at the top. And it went in between all the ridges where my stitches are. Like that. Hey. And um, so he did that and then he said, I will get my temps or dentures, <laughs> dentures, I don't like the word, um, on Thursday or Friday. So this is just a quick update to let you know that it ain't happening just yet. But I'm I'm quite pleased with that because I'd rather have my gums heal a bit more before I stick some ginormous scaffolding of teeth in my mouth and probably clatter like a rattlesnake with it. So yeah, I'd rather let my gums heal a bit longer until that takes place um, and then I'll have to see if they actually stay in my mouth without gagging. That's going to be another challenge <laughs> to overcome but um, what will be will be. I to dentist this morning, had my treatment, my last one, so I can relax now until I go back home um, and I got my dentures which he said don't wear all the time because you want implants to heal which is what I want. Um, just use it for public use and smiles, but do you know what? I work, go home, I see my kids, they see me without them, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. But I will show you what they look like. Nice, aren't they? I love them. That's how they're going to be when I get my permanence. Just like that. And I cannot wait. Hi, I'm just at the airport now, thank God. Went to two or three securities already and uh, I thought I lost my phone, so I panicked. And then it was in my pocket where I've got that many green pockets in the pocket where I least expected it to be. Um, and I nearly cried. It was traumatic for me. Anyway, we're on our way now to go to Departure Lounge and um, back to Britain we go. Can't wait. Third visit. June 2023. Hi guys. Oh my God, this is it. My third trip is finally happening. I'm just on my break at work and I've got three hours to go before I finish. And then I'm gonna drive to Michael's and we're gonna celebrate his birthday a little bit. And then we're gonna jet off to Turkey tomorrow and I'm gonna speak to you soon. I'm so excited. Just on our way to our gate now. Let's go for the gate. Exciting. <laughs> We're on our way. We're rolling, rolling down the runway. So we've arrived at the hotel. We're in the hotel room. We're actually staying at the Hilton Hotel, believe it or not, Hilton Gardens. Yeah. So. Impressive. I'm gonna do a quick tour before, you know, we kind of unpack all our stuff and make a mess. So bathroom.
Mum's just having a little check of everything. You're happy, don't you? Yeah. You're and then we've got the beds. I'm not even going to say what is coming up next because you can see what's in the room. Yeah. Is that a drawer as well under there? desk going on there like that actually didn't even notice oh we got a fridge the shop fill your head in the way refrigerator with reasonably and then treats to enhance your stay and then i'll show you the view it's dark because it's night time look at this oh, we're on the 13th floor as well Woo! So there we have it, that's our room tour. Hello. <laughs> so I'm here in Turkey, spent one night here already and I could not sleep at all. I think I had about an hour and a half all together. Um, and got up this morning, had a nice shower, went for breakfast, gonna go to my appointment at half five tonight. So I've got all day to wait. It's currently quarter past one, so I've got a long time to go yet, and I have no idea what they're doing. Just sitting in the lobby in the hotel waiting for my transport to tip up, so go and see my first appointment for this week and find out, see what's happening. Say something. <laughs> Inaudible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not understandable. <laughs> she no speak any English. <laughs> She's got a mouthful of gauze. Mm -hmm. Right, so we're back in the hotel room after mum's had some treatment. So she's written it down on her notes on her phone so that I get it right. So she's had her gums scraped a bit to open them then she's had some little stoppers taken out and then some tops screwed in. And then she's got some stitching as well. Her mouth's full of gauze. She's not allowed to speak for an hour. Um, I'm not sure if you can eat. Can you eat anything later? Nothing at all? Um, mm -hmm. hmm? uh, maybe a few hours, maybe something kind of soft, not too irritating. Um, yeah, she's got painkillers, antibiotics, so, an appoint and, a and another appointment tomorrow. <laughs> and I'm now going to get room service because I'm hungry. <laughs> Morning everyone. So I didn't get to film last night because I was in so much pain again, um, but it was worth it. So they've done my um, implants, they uncovered them from underneath my gums and Put the screws in ready for where my finals get placed in um i feel good this morning and i thought i'd just give you a quick update on what's been happening plus um i look a complete mess today i've not got my makeup on or nothing but i thought i'd do it quickly before i forget so um i will show you now but if you're squeamish then you might as well <laughs> you have to look away but this is what they did and down there you can't really see them down there but yeah so i've got six showing at the top and one there and two there and this side hurts the most i don't know why there's only one there and it hurts the most how bizarre uh anyway i'm gonna get ready in a minute sort myself out wait for my next appointment to come through for my impressions and that will then get sent off to the lab uh, and then I have to wait three or four days before I get my finals. <laughs> look at me. I look like Trump but hey ho I will look better. It'll all be worth it. That's what I keep telling myself. I don't know if you can hear me or not but I'm sat in the dentist room waiting to be seen for my impressions. 
Michael's not here because they just need to text me this morning or anything. They just called me from the lobby saying transport was here. And I had to go. I had to go. So I'm here on my own waiting to be seen now. Um, see what happens. Hi all. Just a quick update about what happened today. So I got called in at 8 o'clock this morning to go to the dentist and um, had to wait half an hour before the dentist actually tipped up, but never mind. Um, then I had uh, an implant taken out and a new one replaced because it didn't work. So it has to be, it'll take time to basically refuse and, um, what was that yesterday? No, it was today. Yeah. So I got stitches in my mouth. Um, yeah, so I got that sorted and then I got one taken out down here and then I had another root canal and... Um, an extraction, another one. Um, yeah, and then he said that I'm going to get my permanence early next week. Yay! Get in! <laughs> um, yeah, so I chose my colour today, done the impressions. Um, so it's all gone off to the lab, and then I shall get my nice, natural kind of looking set of permanent fixed teeth but you will see all that soon This is the white is well. No. This bleach, this is white, these colors are white. My recommendation is for you. This white will look crazy fake. Too fake. This one also uh, middle one mm -hmm. will be fake. This one is the most special. You can come here if you want to. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Don't want to be in the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one is the this bleach colors natural one. Yeah. This one also. I like that one. Huh. If you want, yeah, we Michael. can do this for you between these two. Oh yeah. In that, between. I yeah. think this for you. Between In this two, just yeah. a little between these two, but yeah. uh, close to this side. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. I think to do to this. If you don't want crazy white, no. I don't recommend this to you. First no. side, side. Like Michael's colors. Yeah. Michael's color is good, I think. Yeah. Like Michael's color. Perfect. Yeah. Mine okay. is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mine is very good. Yes, it's really good. <laughs> yes, it's good. So, Mum's had some temporaries fitted. Let's have a look. Yeah, they're not, you know, obviously perfect, but that's what she needs to put up with for the time being. Hey. <laughs> okay. Hello from Turkey. <laughs> Quick update, we've just got back from the dentist and it's all good news because my mum is having a permanence fitted tomorrow. <laughs> so she's just kind of had a 
trial fitting again, a sort of adjustments made to make sure that they sit absolutely perfect. Um, the dentist is really happy with them and so is mum, you know, they feel comfortable. So they're just going to do like some sort of minor tweaking in the laboratory, laboratory, lab. Um, yeah, and then it's tomorrow. Tomorrow is the day. Yeah. So it'll be exciting to, to show you all what they look like. Just at the tattooist. We're just off to the dental clinic because um, mum's having her final crowns fitted. Exciting. Right, let's go. On camera. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just like I used to have when I was a teenager. Really? Yeah. Well, how do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> Best thing that I ever waited for. Definitely. Can't beat Meadowway girls and boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <am> so happy. <laughs> <laughs> they look so good. It's crazy. Wow. Yeah. Come on, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for you. <laughs> oh, wow. They feel so good. Yeah. Can you see the smile? Thank you so much. Yeah. So much. You're just amazing. Absolutely amazing. So happy. You have to practice smiling again, won't you? Because you couldn't smile for so long. And then you've got to practice it. When I had wow. my old teeth, um, I couldn't smile properly because they were like really horrible at the top. So I used to go like that. Mm. Now I want to go like this. <laughs> <laughs> And I will, I'll <laughs> yeah. Warning, contains flashing images. Ready for a photo shoot now.
Hello, my name is Daniela. I came from the UK to Turkey, Istanbul. So, this is it. It was a long journey, but well worth it. Especially when you've been wanting something like this for as long as I can remember, maybe? And it's finally happened, and I was patient. I had my patience because they are absolutely amazing. And you know what they say, the best comes to those who wait. I waited, and here it is. <laughs> Look at these bad boys. <laughs> I am absolutely happy. <laughs> Made up. I just, honestly, it's the best thing ever. But like I said in my previous videos, don't let your teeth go to waste and having to spend a fortune on getting them fixed and made new. That's not the idea. The idea is to look after your teeth and keep them forever. I was very unfortunate with mine because I had a lot of problems as a child and no fluoride to make them grow stronger and having children at a young age and, you know, not knowing nothing really in my time. <laughs> if you do have to do it, go for it. Don't hold back. Honestly, it's the best thing I ever did. No regrets whatsoever. If you do think about having your teeth done, I highly recommend Medaway. They've been absolutely incredible from start to finish. The coordinators are there for you 24 seven if needs be. They keep in touch with you. Um, and yeah, the dentist is absolutely amazing. He's an actual perfectionist. He would not give up until he got the results that he thought were best for me. Um, but anyway, if you do like to go, if you would like to go to Turkey, Istanbul, where I've just been, um, you can always drop me a line and I'll give you, can give you a, a private number or two from my personal coordinators. They'd be happy to help you with your decisions and help you further in, your, you know, how much it would cost and etc, etc. Um, so yeah. Don't hesitate to contact me. I'm happy. I'm, I just wish I'd done it sooner, like I said, but you can't have everything, not when you want it. Sometimes you do have to really wait and wait for your dreams to come true. And this one did. There we are. Just on our way to Star City Outlet. Hi guys. I've been shopping. Yes. Been shopping for our team. Yeah. Very warm day again today. Traffic's heavy as usual. So we're just gonna get what we need. Not gonna spend too long here. Whoa. Gonna get gifts for people. Whoa, yay. Beep, beep, beep. Lovely. Why? To wear? <laughs> it's quite quiet in here today actually. It's really nice. It's very relaxed oh, in this place. No no one's is... rushing around. Big rings, big rings. Huge. Um some gifts for some of the dental teams. So Nergis was um mum and my coordinator as well as like receptionist and that she's kind of been there you know for like the whole of you know the sort of treatments and stuff like that you yeah. know what I mean so we thought we'd get her something personal uh, we got chocolates for the rest of the dental team so we got her a nice bracelet got butterflies on got it some butterflies on it and and this beautiful little necklace um, which the wings open up 
Yeah. Let me just show you if I can. So they're, they're angel wings, it looks like a heart, but there's a heart in the middle, isn't there? Yeah, look. So, oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? So that's the Nergis. Um, hopefully she'll like them, but I can't see why she shouldn't. No, exactly. Um, yeah. And and then for uh, Seba, we call him Sefa, but I think it's Seba. Oh, okay. Um, the other coordinator, um, we've got him we got him this bracelet so we've gone we've gone for jewelry because it's really difficult to buy especially for for men, men. yeah and um, we thought we're just kind of go for bracelets and for my dentist Nakati I got him this bracelet which is actually the Turkish king and he is my king because he's done my teeth um, and they you actually pay by weight so it had no price on it so he weighed it on the scales and then gave me the price and it was pretty expensive <laughs> for but well worth it because he did such a brilliant job Definitely. so i can't complain so um, so yeah i want to show my appreciation that way but he's definitely going to know that this is turkey king bracelet turkish king turkish king that's yeah. it yeah that's turkish what king. yeah <laughs> for all this chocolate <coughs> for the dental staff <laughs> chocolate for the dental staff um yeah they, i'm sure they'll be happy about it although it's not good for your teeth but it doesn't matter does it um <laughs> yeah gonna go in these tins these two tins spread them out and then we're gonna put these smiley faces on the top there we go finished with some lovely smiley face chocolates <laughs> Our plans today, or our plan today, is we're going back to the tattooist because, mm -hmm. because he's really good. Um, because I am getting this tattoo it's that way, actually. I'm getting that one redone. I want it freshened up, made darker. Um, it's actually my initials. I actually designed it myself so i'm having that freshened up and of course guess who else is getting another tattoo because she's addicted i am yeah <laughs> so i'll show everyone i'll show you all what it looks like when it's done oh my god okay Driver's a bit angry. He's driving like a madman. Don't have any concept of <coughs> safety over here. Let's just hope we get to our destination um, alive. Back at the hotel. So the tattooist is the nicest guy ever. He's um, basically brought us back to the hotel. He gave That's us a cool. lift in his own car that was so nice. um, with his assistant as well. I always forget his name, the assistant. Um, he'll probably be watching this because we told him that we have a YouTube channel and he's um, subscribed to it. So um, hello again if you're watching. Sorry we forgot your name. Um, yeah, but um, they gave us a lift back to the hotel, which was just so lovely. Really, 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 really kind. <laughs> Beautiful people. Really they kind. Are. Because um, they said that the taxi drivers, uh, they're not very good. Um, they don't, um, you know, they don't drive slowly. They drive very fast around here. Um, a little bit on the dangerous side. So yes, it was really nice to come back with them. Um, yeah, and feel safe in the car. So thank you again for bringing us back to the hotel. Really appreciate it. Oh, yeah. And we love our tattoos also, which I'm going to show you, actually. So I had this one refreshed, and he's done a perfect job. I'm really happy with it. It's absolutely amazing. And 
show yours. And then we have here Smile, which has also done a, an amazing job. He has. Beautiful. So both Makeup. very happy. So if you ever come to Istanbul, to where we're staying, if anyone comes here and you want a tattoo, go to Korshan. Hopefully I've pronounced the name right. Korshan Tattoo Studio. He has an Instagram account. I'll link that in the description box below so you can have a look at his Instagram as well. Yeah, we're both really happy. So now mm. we're going to have a nice coffee and sort of relax. Just on our way to the dental centre for the last time to get our mouth guards and to say goodbye to everybody. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yes. Um, <laughs> there is a, there is, oh. there is a note I'm in the boxes, but it is in English, so you may need to get it translated. Oh. It's a, it's a little bit of a story. Yeah. Uh, this is for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. This is for Sefa. Where is he? Yeah, he's yeah, not here today, but I'll give it to him. Oh. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're the best. Thank you very much. You're the best. Not me. You're the best. And then uh, the bag, you can put the sweets in there, yeah. put them away, yeah. whatever. Yeah, that's yeah. right. There you go. Oh, this is that? your gift from it's Daniela. From Daniela. Okay. Yeah. Let's check what's in it. I'm not good in this. Sorry, Daniela. <laughs> oh my God. I like that. It's very nice. Oh, there's a knot there also. Mm. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah. This price is a gift to you from the ball from the back of the house. We received a lot of So thank you for the support and giving this video during your staying here. Oh, very nice. Thank you very much, Daniela. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. Well, here we are, end of an era. My journey has finally finished. 11 long months until the end. It was a roller coaster, um, but it was worth it. It was so worth it. I would do it all over again if I had to. Um, my experience here with Medway was um pleasant everyone was so sweet and caring um you know and i couldn't fault them at all they were there for me when i needed them um they made everything right if something did go wrong which was very little if at all i mean i had a, i did have a little bit of a moan when one of my transport turned up and I didn't even know he was here so you had to wait until I got ready but hey it happens but apart from that it was just brilliant I started off with having um, bone graft extractions sinus lifts some sort of membrane um, loads of stitches in my mouth um, and had to wait six months before I could come back for my implants which I thought was gonna take forever.
but it didn't. It went really quick. Six months went really quick. I couldn't believe it, even though I had almost zilch teeth in my mouth. <clears throat> um, and then when I came the second time, I had my implants put in, which was one of the hardest things I ever had done. But it was still worth it. Um, and then I had to wait another four months. I thought, okay, four months, nowhere near as long as six. And even that time flew by. I did have some uh, false teeth, as in a bridge that I could take out and put in. Called them my Judy's, <laughs> Judy Dench. <laughs> um, because I don't like the name Dentures at all. I don't even like the look of them, but what can you do when you're desperate for some teeth? And I had to take them out every time I had to eat, so I just basically wore them for work because um, I hate it when people used to look at my mouth before and they either saw the crappy teeth that I had in there or um, my dentures were flapping around. <laughs> and the cost of it, when I first asked for a quote via WhatsApp, I got quoted four and a half grand from start to finish, but because they can only go by the pictures that you send them across via WhatsApp. You know, you do uh, try and get as much detail as you can to send to them so they can sort of average it out. Um, when I actually got here, it was, there was way more work I needed doing than they thought, which I knew in the back of my mind, I knew that. But uh, I thought we'll see anyway, see what happens. So yeah, it actually doubled in price. It went up to eight grand, but because it's something that I've wanted for almost all my life, there is no stopping me. And my dentist, he's my king now, because <laughs> he gave me the most beautiful smile I've wanted for my whole life. And I'm overwhelmed, happy, confidence gone sky high. Um, his name was the Catty. I hope I say his name right, but yeah, I actually love the name. Um, and we had a couple of coordinators because Michael's with me, as you know, the uh, second and third time. Uh, we had Nergis, this lovely girl. She was always there for us. Um, and Sefa, he was one of our coordinators, and he's like. If you've got a problem, you tell him and he'll sort it straight away. You know, he won't take no crap. <laughs> so yeah, they were our main ones and we love them to death. When it comes to recommendation Medaway or recommending Medaway, 100%. 100%. Um, for teeth anyway, I'm not, I don't know about any other surgeries that you have or can get done here. My main was my teeth and I'm happy, I'm more than happy. And yeah, I would recommend it, 100%, yeah. Do it, if if that's what you wanna do, do it. So we're back on the island and we yeah. are finally back in the car after a long slog of a day traveling. Oh, we've had a really good time together, haven't we? Oh yeah, I loved it. Mum's got a new smile now. Um, finally after all this time so if you enjoy our channel enjoy our content please feel free to subscribe to the channel it's free um like share and um yeah thanks for watching everyone and thank you so much we will see you again soon yards. take care Definitely. bye